So it's April 21st, and today is the Kanuska Canoe Race. Um, it's an annual event in Bangor. Uh, it's kind of like a rite of passage during spring. Um, everyone gets their boats together, they go down the Kanuska River. It's a 60 mile race, and the first 10 miles of it is about flat water. And then from the last six miles, you've got rapids all the way up until you go into Bangalore. You actually get the kayak down through the streets of Bangalore. So the race is today. I packed up my kayak. I'm getting ready to go out kayaking, and I'm going to go to the Narragawagas River. So, you're probably wondering, how do I fit all of this into here? This is my kayak and bag, and this is the stuff that I usually bring with me. Um, the first thing you need to do is, well, of course, you gotta have paddles. And it's best to bring a spare. I set them inside the kayak, off on the side of the side rails. And then this will be in my hands. I have my fishing gear. I basically just bring my fishing pole and a little bit of tackle. And that usually goes right into the strings here. Next, lunch. We'll go in the back. Water. For the trip. Spare clothes. Again, essential, you're gonna get wet. No matter how hard you try, you're gonna get wet. Towels, because you're gonna get wet. I usually put one in back here to kind of soak up any water that might get into the back. And the other one, I usually, headbands. I usually take the other one and I put it in my seat. One thing to do before you get out into the water, especially with this kayak, adjust your seat. Otherwise than that, you ain't gonna do it while you're in the water. I like to bring a bothy bag. Uh, this is just in case I get, again, wet, cold. I can use this to at least keep some warmth in me. It goes in the back. Spray skirt. Again, you're gonna get water over the bow. You're gonna turn around and, and it's gonna come up and it's gonna either A, sink your cockpit, or B, you have a skirt, which allows it to drain off back into the river. I'll put that one there. And then this one I will use. I keep a spare just in case you fall out. The current will turn around and take that skirt, and sometimes you want to, right off from underneath you if you fall in. Um, the advantages of that, now you can kick and you can swim yourself to safety. The disadvantages of that, now you don't have a spray skirt to finish the rest of the trip. So it's best to bring a spare. Helmet. Fine. Crazy, but at least I try to be somewhat safe. Life jacket. Again, crazy, but somewhat safe. Music. This is a lifeline. Basically, it's a 100 feet of rope or 50 feet of rope. Somewhere around there. Uh, just in case you need to throw it for safety. Uh, it's good to bring, especially if you're kayaking with someone and they get in trouble, you can turn around and throw them a lifeline. Uh, for me, I'm not with anyone. Again, I'm not the smartest kayaker in the world and you can comment about that below, but I do kayak a lot by myself. So yeah, I can throw it, but hopefully I might hit a tree or do some Indiana Jones, because otherwise that's gonna be useless. But I do carry it because well, I try to be safe. Last but not least, another windbreaker. Another, again, you always want to have extra clothing because you will get wet. And during this time of the year when you still have snow around, well, you kind of want to try to stay warm as possible. Uh, last but not least is all my camera gear. Um, uh, this trip I'm bringing two GoPro cameras. Uh, of course, my phone, it's a Samsung Galaxy, and my Mavic Air. Thank you. 
I started off at Bennington Lake and it was just frozen over. There was no way I was gonna get through that lake out to the river. But if you notice, I'm out on the river. Um, Great Samaritan, uh, the person who owns the camp there, he actually stopped by and uh, mentioned, oh, you ain't getting past that lake, it's still quite frozen over. Um, he actually mentioned he was walking on the lake just, just this morning. Um, but he was kind enough to turn around and, and take me and my boat further up past the lake where you have open water. Um, the river's moving at a pretty good clip. Uh, it's running around 1,400 cubic feet per second right now. Um, the meter is at 10.7. I have my skirt in place. I have my helmet. I'm putting the helmet on. Feeling the opposite direction as we go. Now, the skirt will keep any water from coming up into the cockpit. Hopefully. Definitely want to watch the back and make sure that the seal didn't right. But, no means, way, or fashion does this mean that you're not going to get wet. I can always feel the adrenaline start. Heart start to pump a little bit faster as I approach rapids. This right here is the most technical part of the trip. I gotta get through all of that. And then get down there. Wish me luck. <sighs> yep, I do. I do. I do. I split this right here. Stay straight. All right. I want to go on the inside of that. Right in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it, take it, take it. Straighten out. Go, watch the rock. Yep. All right. Keep going straight. Knees up. Try to get some of this water out. You ain't got much time. Because. The next dip you do is right there. Straight out. Now this should be the best route. Right through the middle. Middle right. I gotta get around this rock. And then power into this. Whoa, 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 rock. <laughs> Ah, still not out of it. You gotta be here. Next dip you do. Yes. Oh. 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 That's the biggest of it all. Here we are, we made it. Safe and sound without dumping. And all that's left is to turn around changed in some dry clothes and back up and head on home. Remember friends, if you wait on perfect, you miss out on a whole lot of awesome.